In this video, I'll be talking about generalization of Fermat's factorization. So before explaining this, let us recall what is Fermat's factorization. And in this case, suppose I want to factorize this large integer n. So here, if I can write n as difference of two squares, x square minus y square. That means then I can write x plus y into x minus y. So I got two factors. So the question was how to find these two squares and this I have explained in my last video link added in description so you can see again what is the concept for the Fermat's factorization. Now we want to uh, extend this concept to x square congruent to y square modulo n. So if we can extend again I want to find the factor for this particular integer which is in the moduli. And if you can find some x and y, so square of that is congruent with respect to modulo n, then we can find a factor corresponding to this n if the GCD of x minus y comma n, this is a non-trivial factor of n. So let us write in detail what this theorem is and how this non-trivial factor comes with respect to certain conditions. So here is this theorem and let n be the positive integer that we wish to factor and let x and y be the integers with this condition that x square is congruent to y square mod n but x is not congruent to plus minus y mod n. Then the GCD of x minus y with n is a non-trivial factor of n and here when I say non-trivial factor means the GCD should not be 1 or n. So if we get a non-trivial uh, GCD then definitely that non-trivial GCD which is not 1 and n will turn out to be a factor of n. So let us see the proof of this quickly. As we can see the GCD of x minus y comma n, this is a factor of n. Certainly this will divide n because either this GCD is 1, so 1 will divide n or the GCD is n, even in that case it will divide n or if there is something common between x minus y and n, let's say there is some d, quant d integer which is common between both of them. So x minus y is appearing as d times something and n is also appearing into d times something then d becomes a common factor and in this case d will become a non-trivial factor okay so this is not 1 and n so what we said if we take a gcd of x minus y and n this will definitely divide n so what we just need to show is to be a non-trivial we need to show that gcd is not equal to 1 or n so now let us take these cases. If GCD of x minus y comma n, this is n. So one option is that the GCD is n. In this case, when the GCD is n, so n will also divide x minus 1. n divides n and n will obviously divide this x minus y. So this means x is congruent to y mod n. This condition will pop up. But uh, this is not true. This condition is contradicting. This contradicts our given condition in our given condition we said that x is not congruent to plus minus y mod n so this contradicts given condition so the gcd cannot be n now let us take the another case let gcd of x minus y comma n this is equal to 1 in this case we have been given x square is congruent to y square mod n this is the given condition and if this is the given condition, we can write this as x square minus y square congruent to 0 mod n. And in this case, I can factor this as x plus y and then I can take it as x minus y congruent to 0 mod n. And now notice that because the GCD of x minus y and n, this is 1, we can cancel x minus y. So cancel x minus y on both sides. Cancellation law holds here because the GCD of x minus y and n is 1. So if the GCD is 1, we are left with x plus y is congruent to 0 mod n. This is the congruence that we are left and which means x is congruent to minus y mod n which again contradicts our given condition star. So this contradicts given condition star given condition and hence we said that it will leave us a non-trivial solution. So GCD of x minus y comma n, this is not equal to 1 or n and it leads to a non-trivial uh, GCD and that becomes as a factor of n. 
so whenever we can find this type of the congruence that x square is congruent to y square mod n and but x is not congruent to plus minus y mod n in that circumstance we can always find a non trivial factor of n and we can do the factorization of the integer n so now let us take an example quickly so here in this example i can just notice that 9 square this is congruent to 2 square mod 77 so i am just taking some examples some integers which make sure that this congruence is true 9 square that is 81 minus 4 that is 77 and it is divisible by 77 and we also notice that 9 is not congruent to plus minus 2 mod 77 so what are we the conditions if i look from the conditions point of view the theorem said if i can say x square is congruent to y square mod n if we have this congruence at the same time if this is also available x is not congruent to plus minus y mod n then the gcd of x minus y comma n this is the non trivial something here you get something which is not one and this act as a factor of n so let us see from here so we can see from here that gcd of x minus y that is 9 minus 2 with 77 and so it becomes gcd of 7 and 77 which is equal to 7 so 7 is a factor of 77 and you can see the 7 is a non trivial factor it is not one or uh, this so 77 can be divisible by 7 and then you can have 11 so that becomes the uh, factorization for 77 now the question is how to search this x and y so before proceeding for this x and y uh, calculation let me to take one more example so let i want to factor this integer n is equal to 2189 and by some means so here i am writing by some means so this portion i will explain later on how i have calculated x square and y square so by some means we know that 579 square is congruent to 18 square mod 2189 and we also notice that 579 is not congruent to plus minus 18 mod 2189 so it satisfy our condition so here we say that gcd of x minus y that is 579 minus 18 with n 2189 this is gcd of 561 and then we have 2189 that is equal to 11 so 11 11 is a factor of 2189 and we also notice that if we take 579 plus 18 then i take the gcd with this notice that here i have considered x minus y and here i have now x plus y so this will give me another factor this this will give me gcd of 597 and 2189 so that is equal to 199 so we notice that the integer that we have considered 2189 this is a product of uh, 11 and 199 So now the question is how to find this x and y. So let us write this now. Question is how to find x square is congruent to y square mod n. So we first need to check these x and y, and also these x and y x should not be congruent to plus minus y mod n. So how to find for this x and y? And for this, I'll take again the help of the previous uh, Fermat's factorization, which we did with respect to normal integer. that writing n as x square minus y square so for that what we did we searched a k greater than or equal to root n or i may say k square which is strictly greater than uh, which is greater than or equal to n if this their difference so that means if k square minus n this answer let's call this as y if this is not a perfect square if this is not a perfect square then we keep on increasing we start from x plus 1 square minus n then we start from k plus 2 whole square minus n and we continue this process until we get on the right hand side a square so here say let's say this is y1 square if we get something here k plus let us say j whole square minus n if we get a situation of this type then this expression is what is my x and on the right hand side i get something here as y and let's call this as something as y dash so we search in the same way as we did in the uh, previous video now let us take an example 
Now suppose in this question I want to factor n is equal to 1 to 4 double 9 and for this I must need to know what is x square congruent to y square mod 1 to 4 double 9 so that x is not congruent to plus minus y mod 1 to 4 double 9. In case these two conditions are satisfied then we can say the GCD of x minus y and n this is a factor this is a factor of 1 to 4 double 9. Now the question is how to search for this. So this is what I want to search in this particular question. And then I want to find this which is the factor of this. So that we can uh, factorize our initial given integer. So for this let's notice that. Let's search a k which is greater than or equal to under root of 1 2 4 double 9 so we just notice that 1 1 2 square this is equal to 1 2 5 double 4 so we can see that this is greater than 1 2 4 double 9 so we will start our process from this one so let us consider 1 1 2 square minus 1 2 4 double 9 and we notice here what is this integer and let us consider this integer as 45 we notice that this is not a square so we continue let's write here continue our process so during this continuation we notice that 117 square so we have to find all 113 114 115 and then i take 1 2 4 double 9 which is equal to 1190 and then we do one few more iteration 121 square minus 1 2 4 double 9 this is equal to 2142 okay so Corresponding to these, we also notice that if I just write them into the congruence format, so this become 112 square, this is congruent to 45, which either was not a square, but this 45 can be written as 3 square into 5 mod 12499. So here we just need to uh, do certain trials to make sure that every prime is going to appear twice. So now here you can see that 3 is appearing two times because the power is 2 but 5 is appearing 1 and if I just look at the next one 117 square this is 2 into 5 into 7 into 17 with respect to same mod 12499 and then I look at 121 square this is congruent to 2 into 3 square into 7 into 17 mod 1 2 4 double 9 now combine all these one or we can simply say multiply uh, above these congruences when i multiply above these congruences what i will get i will get 112 into 117 into 121 and everything is with coming as a square on the right hand side also notice that each prime uh, is coming twice so as we can see that 2 is coming here 2 is coming here so this is 2 square and then 3 square in fact 3 square here and then you also have square here and then 5 is also coming 2 times 7 is also coming 2 times 17 is also coming 2 times and then we got whole square and then we have mod 1 2 4 double 9 now what happens here is that this uh, will treat as x and because we got something as a perfect square, we can treat this as a y. So here we can get this as 1585584 whole square. This is congruent to 10710 square mod 12499. Now we also need to check. So we have only got the first condition. X square is congruent to Y square. But we must also need to check the second condition. Sometime the second condition fails. Or sometime this GCD is either 1 or N. So we need to make sure that this is a non-trivial GCD. If this is not a non-trivial, then it cannot be treated as a factor. So we first need to check what is a GCD. So here... Now we check the GCD of 1585584 minus 10710 with 12499 because that is the integer with which we have to check. Now this value will come out to be 12499 and you can see that this is the original number. So this is not non-trivial. You can also check. So this is with respect to x minus y comma n GCD and I can also check with respect to x plus y 
and GCD because the other factor is coming from this expression. So we can also look at this one five eight double five eight four plus one zero seven one zero one two four double nine. There GCD comes as one. Now these two are trivial factors. So trivial factor doesn't help us, which means that our choice for this as a x and this as a y is not a uh, working for this particular method we must need to check our list further so this process that we did we further need to continue and we need to find certain other pairs which which gives us something as square on both side so here x and y didn't work and we search for more we search for more so when i search for something more in the same way uh, 112 we have already looked up now let's took 113 square which is congruent to 2 into 5 into 3 cube mod 12499 and then we can check 127 square which is congruent to 2 into 3 into 5 into 11 square and then we have mod 12499 so uh, again we can see that every prime uh, look at the right hand side every prime is appearing at least twice so we can make a perfect square so multiply these two multiply the above and again we need to see that you know when we are finding these we we definitely need to make sure that uh, 114 square also we have calculated 115 square so this is basically we are doing it little by little trial now when i multiply we got 113 into 127 square and on the right hand side we got 2 into 3 into 5 into 11 and 3 square we will uh, keep inside and then we'll have power uh, square so you can see 3 is appearing uh, with 4 power so 3 and then you have 1 here so that is that makes sense and modulo 12499 now uh, we can reduce so reduce this with respect to modulo this reduce with respect to modulo 12499 so when i re just reduce this will become 1852 whole square which is congruent to 990 square mod 12499 now we will try for this x and we will try for this y and we notice that in this case 1852 this is also not congruent to plus minus 990 mod 12499 so that satisfies second condition this satisfies first condition we can now check the gcd gcd of x minus y that is 1852 uh, minus 990 with 12499 and this is giving me gcd of 862 with 12499 and we can use here the normal Euclidean algorithm. You can apply normal Euclidean algorithm to find the GCD or you can uh, do with respect to some program. So 431, this is a non-trivial factor. So this is non-trivial factor. So which means we got 12499 as 431 into 29 and I, and I have already told you how to get 29 when I take 1852 plus 990 and then I take the GCD with 12499 so that will give me another factor so this is the factorization that we have found using the generalized Fermat's factorization so we can note that in the generalized Fermat's uh, method for factorizing an integer n, we must need to write n as x square congruent to y square mod n. So here we must need to search uh, two integers x and y. These are to be uh, checked. Now these may be unique or you can consider this by trial. So once you find such x and y, provided these x and y also satisfy these condition x and y they are not congruent to each other and then we can check the gcd of x minus y with n if this is not equal to 1 or n then definitely this gcd is a factor of n so the question is only remaining how to find x and y and this we do it by trial or using the previous prime factorization so we start from the integer 
k which is greater than or equal to root n or we may say that we start from k square minus n then n will successively increase k plus up till some j unless until we get a perfect square on the right hand side as well 